Okay, I've been doing a lot of work with PDFs lately. I just want to show you a couple things about moving pages around in a PDF. I'll quickly go over the uh, extracting a page and rotating pages. This kind of stuff comes up all the time when you're scanning things and you want to uh, move things around. I got a couple of uh, multi-page PDFs here that I downloaded from, uh, from this site. One quick thing I want to show you is a really easy way to rename a file is to just go to the file and highlight something. For example, this. I want to rename the file to this. It sort of downloads as an ugly, uh, ugly file name. I just highlight it, press Command C to copy it, Command Shift S to save, Command V, Command D to go to the desktop to save the desktop, and then save it. So I've got a nice file name. I do this with cases all the time, and it's really, really uh, fast and easy way to do it. Do it full speed here. And that's it. So we've got these two um, documents saved on the uh, desktop now, which is hidden. To bring it up, I just click here. Here they are right there. This is the desktop. I use a, a program called uh, Camouflage to hide the desktop. So a nice, clean working environment. And here we go. This over here on the PDF, on the PDF right now I'm working in uh, Acrobat 9 Professional is the Pages panel. And the Pages panel is very convenient to use to get around your documents very easily as opposed to going like, as opposed to scrolling through this way. You can just find the page you need really quickly. I find this is very good for long documents, for example, treatise sections that have or uh, have multiple sections. And either, it's easy to see where the sections break when you look at them over here on the left because you can tell where the uh, text ends for that section. So to, to get to a... Uh, pages out of a document, you, you can get to get multiple pages, you hold down the uh, command button, control on a PC, click, click, right click, now you can extract pages here. Now here it gives you which pages to extract. Now if you delete after extracting that will obviously uh, change the source PDF and extracting the separate files means that it will pull out these two pages but there would be two separate files. Usually you don't want to do that. Um, you might want to. I've done it. I've done it by accident and had you know extracted 100 pages before and had 100 separate files, so it was a bit of a mess. But then you just click OK and it extracts them out into pages from. It renames as pages from, and this one just has two um, files. When you're looking uh, two pages, when you're looking at now, one of the great things you can do is when you're scanning a lot of things and you have different files going on, is you want to com combine PDFs. Now there are a couple ways to do that, and it's probably simpler than you thought. You just get this Pages panel open, and by the way, if you if you don't see the little Pages icon there, just right click over here on on, um, on the uh, on the side of the navigation pane to bring up the contextual menu, and just click on on the Pages panel. Uh, sometimes these things will get undocked. For example, you know if you drag this out, it becomes undocked like that, and it's floating around. Sometimes that may be good. Sometimes it's not. You can just click dock all panels and it will jump back. So we have the pages panel open. Let's say we wanted to include some pages from the other PDF into this PDF. Now what we could do is simply grab this guy here and just drag it over. And then that combines PDFs. Then if you, where that little horizontal line appears is, the, is where the uh, document will be placed. So after page 4, whatever it may be. Now you can also include an entire document without even opening. Let's say I just wanted to, I have this PDF, um, this uh, PDF on PDFs here, and let's say I just want to include the entire eight things ever learned should know about SEO. I can just take that and drag the whole file over to the pages panel and insert it. Let's say I want to insert it at the end and just let it go, and all the pages from it just fly into the um, document. So that's one really easy way to get things going. It's um, it's much more fluid. And it's rather easy, and it sort of kind of feels like you know you're shuffling papers, uh, like like we used to, when uh, when we had to uh, deal entirely in print. So that's it for now, and thanks for watching.